What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. Okay, so here we are, still in uh, the flowery place of Floweroma Town or something like that. I don't know. It's something like that. Now, we're going to go straight into Route 205 and go up north because it is finally time to achieve our goals of being the best that we never could be. And uh, if you talk to this guy, you know, slather the, slather the honey, you know, trees, Pokemon, that fun stuff. And uh, here we go with another battle. Our first battle right here in the, uh, what you might call it, uh, in Route 205 right here. Now, in our last few episodes, we've defeated Team Pla or, yeah, Team Galactic. I always get those two mixed up. Team Galactic, uh, got a password, I don't even know. Talked about some crazy balloon Pokemon. Got our Pokemon stronger. You know, that kind of stuff. And, of course, this all comes in light because... Like, I'm just saying this right now, the things that I do remember, because, you know, it's been a while since I've up, uh, been uploading videos now. A lot of responsibility, but guess what, guys? This is the week, the week where I upload a buttload of videos for you guys, so you can stay entertained with my Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. The road to making up the success that I came back for is starting right now. And, uh, well, just like that, defeated uh, the camper right there, and, uh, well time to switch it up right here because right now our goal is still trying to get uh, Hydra number four to evolve and uh, well let's see could use that potion right there nope it's not gonna work on him of course I'm, I'm pressing the button like real quickly like I'm always I'm constantly pressing the A button because I guess I'm a very impatient person when it comes to this game right here and uh, well there's Pokemon right here uh, some certain Pokemon and uh, of course I didn't edit out all this whole this whole thing but here we have Shellos the, let's see, northeast, west version, I think? Yes, yeah, the west version of Shellos. Correct me if I'm wrong. No, wait, it's the east version. I could be wrong. I don't even know. I don't care. Comment down below, guys. There's two kinds of uh, Shellos right here. Now, here we go, battling another Pokemon trainer right here. And uh, this guy, his name is Hiker Daniel. Coming out with his usual Geodude, and he wants to take on us. And, uh, well, unfortunately, Hydra number four does not have any kind of water type moves. So, let's switch it out to Donatello right here. Yeah, Donatello's looking like a badass right now. And uh, that Mud Sport is not going to do any good right now because, well, Electricity's power has been lowered. And now, what was it? Around this time, if you guys did capture a, what, Shinx or something like that? Yeah, it's not really going to do much because there's not a lot of, there's not a lot of electric type moves that it knows just about now. And uh, Hydra number four gaining experience points. Daniel wants to throw out another Geodude right here, so let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon, and let's see, Hydra number four, switch battling, doing his thing, battling another Geodude because he's too lazy to do anything else. Now, in other news, I'm pretty sure I'm a little few, I'm a few days late, but what is this? I've, I've been seeing this on the Twitterverse. Our boy Ash Ketchum finally got himself a championship, holy crud. He's finally won the championship. So, what do you guys think that means? Does that mean that the show ends with him? Are they gonna switch a new, switch him to a new character? Is he finally gonna grow? Or for crying out loud, are, are we gonna find out who his real father is? Because I kind of have my money on Professor Oak. I really do. Or I don't know. Who else is there? Or Giovanni? You know, Giovanni from Team Rocket. I have my money on him. I don't know. But anywho, back to the game right here, Hydra number four, switching it up, going up against another Geodude, and, uh, well, let's see, can't do anything about it, so let's go ahead and switch him out, right here, right now, Donatello, killing, slain Pokemon, just like always right here, and, uh, yeah, that Geodude is just raising his defense, so I'm just gonna go with, uh, Razor Leaf right here, and, uh, well, there you go. Geodude defeated. Destroyed. What now? What now? Look at that. Kicking some ass, taking names, all that fun stuff. And uh, Hiker Daniel defeated. Refreshing battle that was, yes. Huh. Okay, so now there's this item right here. The uh, special, or the X special defend. That's a new one right there. And, uh, well, there's another trainer waiting for us right there. So I might as well battle her while I'm at it. And uh, she loves Pokemon that are sweet. Smelling aromas, all that stuff. And uh, here we go. Aroma Lady Elizabeth coming out with her Pokemon, Roselia. Bring it. 
bring it. Okay, so I gotta switch it up again. You know, I'm in it to win it, guys. I am in it to actually get uh, to actually get Hydra Number Four evolved. And uh, hmm, let's see. Like I told you, like or and I don't think I've I don't think I've told you guys this, but uh, yeah, I have stocked up on a lot of videos right here on Pokemon, Pokemon Platinum, I should say. And uh, the only thing that I have to do is actually record and all that stuff. So that's another thing that you know you guys should be expecting right there. Just gotta get those videos out there. There's about 30 videos that I've done, and uh, they're itching to come out and, sh and see the, the light of day and all that stuff. Okay. All right, moving. I bl Well, if there's this free space right here, shouldn't there be an item? Oh, there it is. Okay, so we find ourselves a Stardust, and uh, we could go there where the grass is at, or we could battle this guy, which, of course, we will be battling. And, uh, well, let's see. Long way... Oh, Florama Town. He's talking about Florama Town. I think I got that name right or whatever I don't even know so camper Zachary wants to come out coming out with the a palm and I will be coming out with another hydra number four because yeah hydra number four is badass in the making badass in the making so let's go with Donatello right here and uh, tail whip tail whip is not yeah tail whip is whatever okay alrighty let's go ahead and uh, use our whatever attack right here let's see Defense is lowered. Razor Leaf about to kick the old butt right now. Let's go. And Ape Bomb still not still defeated right now. Okay, okay. So here we go. Razor Leaf for the win. And there goes Ape Bomb. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so that's what level 14 for Hydra number four, which is good. Six more levels. And, uh, well, we gotta switch it up right now. Let's see. So there's more Pokemon trainers right there. And, uh, this, this little sign is talking about the items. And we got another trainer. So this area right here is full of trainers, items, and all that stuff. And that's exactly what we're gonna be, be going through before we go into the Eterna Forest. And, uh, this guy coming out with his Onyx right here. Wow. Okay. Bring it. Just bring it. Okay, so... Let's go with Donatello right here, and uh, let's see, let's see. Donatello in two hits, right? Donatello in two hits. And, uh, well, there's that screech attack. I don't even know why they're trying to lo lower my defense. Really, really don't know, because Donatello has some pretty good defenses right here. It's a bulky Pokemon, it's a slow Pokemon, you know, combination of uh, defense Pokemon right here. So there you go, absorb attack, eat it, Onix, eat it. Eat it with a side of gravy. That's right. And, uh, well, that's another Pokemon trainer down. Many more to go. I believe we're going to hit like 300 wins right here. So, we're already done with that, guy. So, I should go right here where we can actually get some items. Please don't be a trainer. And, yes, it's another trainer. God dang it. Okay. Bring it. Just bring it. Alrighty. Another one. Coming out with the all-powerful Bidoof. Bidoof! Let's go. And uh, who will win in this match right here? Hydra number four or Bidoof? My money is on Bidoof. Don't have much uh, Don't have much on, uh, on, on Hydra number four just yet. And uh, as you can see, we're lowering his attack right here. And Bidoof will try and do a tackle attack, which, yeah, not much. So here we go. Wing attack. Hopefully for the win. Look at that. Oh come on! Oh, you got you gotta love that. You you really gotta love that. Ugh. Okay, so here we go with another wing attack. Eat it, Bidoof. Eat it. Bidoof is not loving it right now. Alrighty. Okay, so Picnic or Sienna wants to come out with a Risu, and I will be coming out with Hydra number four because why not? It's the Hydra number four show. Featuring Hydra, the Magikarp, not the Gyarados just yet. And uh, well, let's go with a Donatello right here because why not? Now, I wish there would be. Uh, I wish there was like more competent Electric type Pokemon because believe it or not, guys, I would have preferred getting an Electric type Pokemon than, uh, than anything else. But because there's a Shinx and it doesn't learn any very very well, it doesn't learn any competent uh, Electric Electric attacks while it evolves or something. 
That's out of the question right there. So, let's go with the slower team, the slower person of Donatello right here. And, uh, huh. I just realized something. I, mean, like, I haven't... Yeah, I haven't been putting up a lot of Ice-type Pokemon in there, too. So, maybe that's another... That is another, uh... That is another, um, you know, option that I could use for Pokemon. And, uh... Oh, would you look at that. Defeated Pachirisu. Donatello grows to another level. Uh, whatchamacallit, uh, what's his face? Uh, Hydra number four gets some experience points without doing anything. And, uh, we'll be getting some berries right here. Here we got an Oran Berry. Not bad. Not bad. Getting that. And we're grabbing this one. And we got ourselves a Pekka or a Petra Berry. And, uh, back to this Lomi Stave. There's a few Pokeballs right there. As you can see, it's a Heal Ball, which if you do capture a Pokemon with this specific ball, it will automatically heal it after battle. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and move on. We don't have a Surf yet, but... We will eventually surf elsewhere, and uh, yeah, I'm being attacked by some freaking Shellos right here now. Shellos has two different kinds of form, like I mentioned before. I think we're in the east or north. I don't even know. Is it north or south? It could be wrong. I don't even know. Just comment down below, guys. Two different kinds of forms right there, and here we have another repel. Pretty good. Pretty good stuff. And uh, well, let's go ahead and battle this battle girl. I think that's what her name is. She's like, hey, yeah, nothing's holding me back. Of course, she doesn't sound like that. She doesn't sound like that. So here she comes out with a Machop. The evil Machop. And, uh, well, let's go with a combination of different Pokemon because why not? Why freaking not? Alrighty, so here we go. Starblade ready to attack. And, uh, wow, this guy, Karate Chop. Bad. Here we go. Wing attack for the win. Eat it! That's right. Machop getting his butt kicked. Oh yeah. Giggity, giggity, giggity. I don't know why I said that, but it sounded right. It sounded really, really right. Okay. Moving that. And uh, Kelsey's been defeated. Yes, you conceded. I am in a whole new level. That's cool. Now, there's another trainer right there. Wow, how many trainers are there here? It gets real annoying after a while. But then again, you know, I get it. I get it with the experience points and all that stuff. Alrighty, so here she comes out with a Piplup, the Pokemon that I did not choose. I was actually thinking I'm using. And I'm going to come out with its weakness, you know. Donatella. Donatella, ready for action right here. And uh, yeah, Piplup's not having it. So here we go with Absorb Attack for the win. And uh, that wasn't for the win. It just took like half its half its HP. And uh, this Pokemon learned its uh, Peg Attack. Okay, I see where you're at. So here we go, Razor Leaf, finishing him off. Let's go. There it is. Bye bye, Piplop. Oh yeah. And uh, well, that's another Pokemon trainer now. I'm pretty sure there's another trainer waiting for us. Just one more. So let's go right here and uh, let's go ahead and uh, grab this super potion. It's always nice to have super potions. And uh, there's no other Pokeballs right here. Now if you go right here, I believe this is the rest stop so you can actually just kill your Pokemon before you get into the Eternal Forest. This guy's talking about repels that will actually help us um, you know, avoid Pokemon. And there it is, the healing process is complete. And uh, I think there's just one more thing that I need to do right here, or something that I need to show you guys. Okay, so if you go right here, I believe there are a few uh, trees blocking the way. So we need the, the cut technique to get through there. So the next stop is the Eternal Forest. So stay tuned guys, in the next episode, we will be going into the Eternal Forest, battling a bunch of more trainers. So see you guys.